It's time for another Foxy Moms Wellness Wednesday. I'm Brittany Baker here with Dr. Eric Kaplan from Colorado Springs Allergy and Asthma Clinic. We're talking about food allergies today. So what are some of the common foods that cause allergies? Right, so you can be allergic to any food, but milk, egg, wheat, peanut and soy, and tree nuts, um, those are the ones that we see most commonly. Sometimes a little bit of shellfish and shrimp uh, mm -hmm. as well, but milk, egg, wheat, peanut and soy, and again, those tree nuts, those are the common ones. Now, what are some of the symptoms Symptoms and how severe can they be? Right, so some people just have very mild symptoms. So they'll get an itchy rash, sometimes an eczema flare. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they'll have esophageal problems, so their swallowing tube gets inflamed. And then sometimes more severely, they can have anaphylaxis. So that's a severe, life threatening, whole body allergic reaction, especially with peanut and tree nut. Mm -hmm. You know, we take those kids very seriously. You can actually die from that, right? Correct, yeah. So people die from their food allergies, and that's why we're very cautious, especially with the peanut and tree nut, especially that cashew as far mm -hmm. as the tree nut. You know, we take a lot of precautions to make sure the kids are safe. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you treat that? There's sort of like an emergency shot that you can do, right? Correct. Yeah, the number one treatment for anaphylaxis is epinephrine. Mm -hmm. So that's the EpiPens. Um, so we make sure that those kids know what they're allergic to and have that emergency plan in place. Get their EpiPens at the school. Have it available. Have it there in case of accidental uh, ingestions. Because accidents happen. About 75% of kids will accidentally ingest the food they're allergic to before they hit the age of seven. So you got to be prepared uh, with those auto-injectable uh, mm -hmm. adrenaline's epinephrine. And real quick, what are schools doing to address these food allergies? Right, so I work with a lot of school districts and District 12 is having some general use EpiPens in the school. Mm -hmm. So in case a kid has an anaphylactic, a systemic reaction, uh, they can be treated at the school. Mm -hmm. Some real helpful information. And for more yeah. information, you can visit csallergy.com.